Hey everyone, this is going to be a little bit of a review of the game Nostalgic Train. Thank you to Amata KK for uh, providing me with a code. Sorry that it's took me so long as well to them and to you guys that uh, I have not got around to making a video, but now, um, now I basically am. Now, I'll tell a lie. Um, I already sort of played this game when I got it. Uh, I couldn't resist playing it. And uh, initially I was going to... Initially I was going, sorry, I was, I was just doing something. Initially I was going to use a guide, but then I decided to play for myself and I enjoyed it a lot more. Um, some people find like walking simulators boring. This one actually had like a really interesting story to it. Um, there were parts that I like, I did understand and there were parts that I didn't like. There was parts about a boy drowning. I won't spoil it too much, uh, but it literally is just a simple walking game and it's telling a story in this little small area of a map. And um, like I say, actually, obviously as you can see, I've already done all the achievements and it was a really nice little game. Uh, you know, it wasn't stressful. There wasn't anything coming at me. There wasn't like a puzzle to solve. It was just a nice little um, simple game. Now, obviously there's like different modes, obviously, because I've already done the game. Uh, there's like new game, continue and read again. Um, but three modes are a nice little mode to, you know, just sort of like explore, I guess, and, you know, do your own thing. I'm just checking if the TV's on sound because I don't want it to echo uh yeah it's on zero but as you can see it's basically just telling me I'm in free mode and it really is a beautiful game uh, for the price that you're paying there's some really nice visuals um and a nice little environment to just explore if you're not even interested in the story uh you know you can do all sorts uh to learn the controls just press y um and it'll basically just tell you what you can do you can even run so technically it's not even really walking you, you can run around but Oh wait, no, that's, that's, it's LB, sorry. So you run a bit faster and you'll see these little memory things as you walk around and they're like little notes that you can read. Each one uh, has like an achievement tied to it in free mode. Obviously they're not unlocking now because I've already earned the achievements, but I mean, just look at this. This is like insane. And I believe as well, I've just sort of missed my opportunity because I believe that, yeah, the train's about to go, but you can get on that train and it literally just does like this nice little ride around the town. And it really is just a nice little game for what you know you get and i'm really grateful that they allowed me to review it i mean look at the visuals just like the the light reflecting on the water and you know there are, there are games that i know that really struggle to do stuff like this because you know you're not just developing um like a moving character you're developing you're developing an environment to actually move and affect with like you know things like weather and you know even just this small thing would have took pff, i don't know I wouldn't know, um, I'd probably have to ask, but it's just insane. Um, for a game that, you know, um, obviously hasn't had much attention, this is one of those that I do highly recommend, even if it's just for achievements. Like I said, I wanted to play it, but I also want to play it for achievements. Um, I can't lie. Uh, but I'm glad I played it because I wanted to know what it was, and I'm glad that I didn't follow a guide because I wanted to know what it was about, and I knew that because it was a walking simulator, stuff wasn't going to be too complex, so I just decided to, you know... Um, do it myself um and i'm glad i did as i said before but um you can crouch i don't really know what for because there really isn't any crouching parts but you can just explore anything and everything obviously i can't um like sh like you know do the whole game because uh, it is a pr it's not it's not long long i'd say maybe around the one or two hour mark depending on how fast you are you can't drive cars but you can just enjoy the uh i mean obviously you can't suddenly hear the um you know the effects because I'm, re I'm recording on the phone and it won't um, pick up the audio from the game which I am going to work on in the future um, but yeah it is it's just a really cool game there's parts where you have to like you know go up here and you know yeah so it's um it's one of those I do highly recommend it um, and like I say I believe it's really cheap as well you, you get what you get for the money uh, some games like I say uh, don't do that, but that's obviously not what's being discussed. It's the gameplay, and I'm just showing you some gameplay so that you know what to expect when you go into it. And like I say, free play is part of like what you need to do. Like you need to go into here if you're going for the achievements to go to all these um, blue things. Um, and there's there's a few, uh, but I I know a handy guide that you can search for. I personally won't be showing you how to get them all because I think that um, I would be awful at it. I, I I can't remember off the top of my head where they all are. I'd probably have to like do it a good few times. And luckily there's someone nice enough that's already done that. So, um, but yeah, it is. It's just a really nice game that I, I, I just can't say enough to go and play. Um, it's cheap, it's fun, and it's just a nice little chilled game. You can sit back and just 
listen or read or whatever um and just the visuals and even just like tiny things you know you just don't you don't really notice until you appreciate especially with walking games you know it's one of those things but yeah seriously check out this game and that really will do that if this one and you know what there's even a bridge that you can walk under and that's the train how cool how cool is that even the sun flare coming off the like like that's insane anyway check this game out uh it's on the store i believe it's 12.49 i could be wrong or it's 11 pounds 74 in gbp i haven't fact checked it sorry uh